Welcome back to another trade recap, everyone. Today, we're going to be going over our trade that we took um, where we had these Apple puts. This is when we stopped out at a QQQ and Amazon for like less than 10%, I think like 5 or 7% when we were trying to break out. You guys know how that ended. Small loss here and markets looking weak. Lunchtime, so low volume. So what I saw is the first initial Apple put that we took off open that went like 10, 15%. Um, we had that nice little entry and we saw that we we're still rejecting that supply all day and um i gave you guys a supply yesterday and you guys not samurai markets i want to make sure you guys learn and bank with us so i gave you guys the exact step by step of why i hopped in where my entry was where my stop loss was and what my target was right target would have been this low here as i mentioned in the chat apple at 1.2 apple 125 trim loved that follow through break of that consolidation we had 10 percent blah 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 and then we set up an order these contracts went to almost like two dollars it was insane but um yeah i'm gonna be going over how we took that trade and what you guys uh or what i saw so if you guys want to because i'm not trading tomorrow so i want to make sure you guys also understand how i take my trades so here what i'm going to do is go on to yesterday's trade recap so yesterday's trade recap i did for free on youtube so I'm not sure if I'm going to make this a YouTube video or just a trade recap, but I made this video yesterday and here's me going over that, uh, the exact zones that we played today. But you guys basically see, I said my short entry would be at the supply that I gave out yesterday and then my bounce area would be here at the, um, the demand. Here is that supply and here is that demand. You guys can see why I love supply and demand. Supply and demand is just so so nice so clean i love the action that happens with supply and demand you short up here you cover down here you long here and then you cover wherever you want or when you take profits whenever you want that's why i love supply and demand and that's why it's my main strategy and you know it's helped me make a lot because this this is what works for me it doesn't have to work for you but works for me but here's what we saw we took a short entry today i think around this candle um and then you see it bounce back up we had this nice candle here um but you guys see today it consolidated at these highs right and you guys know when it consolidates in a supply zone it tends to break out now you're probably wondering shinobi why didn't it break out the reason why at least i think so is this is just a very strong supply there's so many orders up here that just every time it came in reject every time it came in reject right and what that did is it formed a consolidation area for us but what that also did was create a small uptrend going into supply any normal trader would have tried taking calls here but i would have waited for the confirmation above as i mentioned in the chat i was like guys if we break above supply i want to pull back into it so i can take calls we didn't get that but instead we got this nice little uptrend and this nice little consolidation here the better entry would have obviously been this candle close here or this retest but i entered here for two reasons one the emas were chopping and they started to finally see some sort of direction we started to see that okay the market wants to move lower we broke and held under this uptrend this was our entry it moved back on up rejected emas closed under and that's telling me okay i think we're gonna have a trend reversal i think we're gonna pull back and you guys just see how well it moved down now i gave you guys this yesterday i give you guys the zones i tell you guys how to execute them i show you guys live examples i give you guys my trades my exact entries and exits but this is why you know i'm just trying to clear up for any confusion because when it comes down to strategies and just all this stuff uh, sort of stuff a lot of people get confused with just like things you learn from experience things you want to know unless you've traded the strategy for a while so most people are like shinobi you always say if it's consolidating multiple touches in a supply it's a weaker supply yes that's true right and the reason i still look to take a short position here was because we rejected so many times right we rejected so many times we couldn't make a move higher into the supply right it was just at the very you know very bottom of the supply we, when we made a sharp move up right what happened we it was followed by in very nice uh rejection pulled back up huge rejection pulled back in huge rejection that's just telling me there's a lot of supply there and usually if it's consolidating inside the supply that is when it's a weaker zone but when it's consolidating a little outside of it and it's not even trading into it because these orders are just blocking it could even get past 163.4 right that's just telling me that hey there is so much supply that it doesn't want to continue higher and where would my entry have been for me it was this little support level we broke here or this little uptrend and you guys can see that would have provided a perfect entry down to our target where is our target 
we trade from demand we trade from zone to zone you short at 163 point you trade out or short at 163 you cover back at 161 and look at where the bottom where you cut it to bottom tick the entire candle today down to the tick right here that would have been perfect um you know we mentioned this in the live yesterday and you guys can see how well that price action was and you can see where i drew my zones and you can see this exact range that we traded and even on the daily i even mentioned i'm like yo i'm gonna be looking for a short position because we are coming up to this uh resistance towards 164 we're unable to break 164 right so in the live stream i also said hey guys it's coming up to resistance on the daily we could use a top-down approach so there's a nice area we're going to be looking to short supply here and not really look to play a bounce or not really look to you know play the upside today so obviously it was hard sitting through this insane move off open but at the same time we caught just as big as a move to the downside today so why did we have the uh supply we had the supply we draw it from the candle top right in the candle top down to the body before it has a huge move to the downside right huge move that's exactly what happened what does that mean there's unfilled orders here right unfilled orders here the market came back rejected it and for people who have a hard time understanding supply and demand um here's a quick analogy it's like a paint roller right you're painting a wall and you know you're using you dip it in the paint you move it up the wall really fast or you move it down the wall really fast right it's gonna leave little spots what are you gonna do you're just gonna leave the spots no you're gonna take your paint roller you're gonna come back and fill those spots just like the orders it moved really fast left some here because it moved too fast just like your paint roller you moved it too fast so it has to come back fill those orders before continuing back down right that's what happened here and for demand i went on to the five minute and looked for a demand here and i drew it from the bottom of that candle to the body so the wick to the body you guys can see how well that worked out um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick trade recap uh once again here's how the play went uh we had our stop loss and profit we set up an oco bracket where we had to take profit and whatnot and yeah that was it for today we had a great day today i can't wait to bank on wednesday because i'm taking a break tomorrow from everything you guys can say here um yeah Hopefully you guys caught this with us today. Hopefully you guys made some money. And if this is going on YouTube, I don't know yet. Uh, hi, YouTube. And yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, Wednesday. Peace out.